Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamti. During this period of the coronavirus pandemic, there's been a couple of innovative ideas to help battle it. From Ghana, we've seen a couple of them. Now, today's video showcases that of a friend, Samuel, who has built an interesting touchless system that allows you to dispense soap, water, and even tissue without you touching any part of the device. So let's go ahead and take a look at what Samuel has built. Hello, my name is Samuel Adrani. I am a senior software engineer at Andela. I'm a maker, a hacker, and what else? An engineer, obviously, yes. So in this era of COVID-19 with a pandemic you know, going on, one of the ways that we were advised to keep a good health and hygiene is constant washing of the hands with soap and water. Well, one morning, my wife came to me and said, give me a bucket and mentioned that she wants me to automate the bucket. Well, after roaming around my neighborhood trying to get the tap to fit onto the bucket and not finding it, I had to put on my engineering caps. And this is what we came up with. I'll be telling you about the whole system, how it works. It's the idea of a touchless system where you don't touch any part of it because the fear is that the more we touch our taps, the more we touch the soap, the more we touch, you know, paper and all around us spreads or leaves residue of the virus. So my quest to make this a touchless system, this is what we built. So in the next couple of minutes, we'll be sharing with you how I built it and what and how it works. So come with me on a journey on how this works. Thank you. All right, guys. So this is version one of our prototype um, that has automatic soap, water, and paper dispensing. Um, as you can see, the whole structure was made out of pipes as a proof of concept. Again, I emphasize it's a prototype. We're not figuring how to house it or how to contain it, but this is just to prove that the concept works. Um, I would want to go through a few of the electronics in it. This in itself is not like a new invention or anything, but it's the innovation of putting all of them together that's exciting and that's interesting. So the main brains of the system is using an Arduino, which is in the back box. Uh, we've, seen, we've seen that in previous videos, but the key components that drive the whole touchless and you know, a hands-free system are these ultrasonic sensors one for the tissue paper and then there are two under each of these uh, pipes or faucets so so to speak um in building this we had just started the lockdown so i had to use things that were around me so i could easily get pvc pipes i could get you know fall from the house and all these things so ideally this would have been probably uh you know either fabricated metal or some wooden box or frame or something but this is just a prototype so i'm going to walk you through the process it has um uh, two pumps one that pumps the, the soap and the other that pumps the water and then it uses a servo motor up here to rotate or to move the paper when we need it so this whole rig is supposed to be a self-sustaining system uh, we're using this 150 watt solar panel to power yes you might say this is a huge yes it is huge but the idea is that we are going to probably power some smart bins and other things around it so this whole rig is powered from this uh, solar panel here so cool yeah to turn it on um first of all let's talk about the component so this is the soup we have a pump a, a hose for the soup as you can see we fitted it this is where the water is this is just so you just fill this with water um, ideally this would be recyclable and then that is the waste but this you can probably put in the gutter or in the drains or something like that so to make it to to start using it you just have to turn it on with here there you go now the green light so it has both audio and visual feedback so the green state tells you that it is ready to be used anytime it's in use the pump is working it's going to turn uh, red and then there's also a, a little buzzer and alarm that beeps to tell you the state of it so i'm going to walk you through how this works so i know i have to do proper labeling so the first side here is the soap and this one is the water so as you come as simple as that i put my hand here and as you can see the soap drips there you go i can just you know apply the soap on my hands and then i come to the water and then this is water uh forgive me i'm not using the same you know the approved way of washing hands yet i'm just trying to demonstrate this so this is a this is programmed to run for i think 15 to 20 uh seconds i can update this if i want to so with this shake off the water a bit and i just wave here and as you can see my paper comes i just stir this and then off I go. I can, you know, just tear this if I want to. That's it. Wash my, you know, clean my hands very well. And then the idea was to have this bin also smart. So right now that I finished this, 
I would have just waved my leg here or just waved my hand here and then the bin will open and I'll drop this in. But we're waiting for a bigger torque servo motor to lift this up. So that's how the system works. All right, so the entire build took a total of seven days. The first version we had, which you saw us publish, but that didn't have the paper dispenser, took five days. Uh, but then the second part, which has the paper dispenser, took like uh, an extra two days. I mean, extra two full days. When I mean two days, like an eight hour day. So in total, it took us like seven days to put all these things together, including the entire dispensing, piping and all that. Um, one of the key things is the Arduino, which runs the whole system. Um, I'll give you a tour of that in another video or probably in, in a subsequent episode. But the board has, we're using, we're using the Arduino Uno and that's powering everything on it. So the Uno and then the sensors are the key driving the technology. Uh, the programming, I, say, I think, you know, took just a, you know, probably an hour or two just to figure it out because one of the problems that I faced when I was configuring it earlier on was I used an IR sensor, an infrared sensor, which was sensitive to infrared and it didn't work very well outside. <clears throat> so if we brought the system out, if we're using the infrared sensor, it would not be working properly. We'd have to enclose all the sensors in a very little box to prevent light from coming in. So that's why we use the ultrasonic sensor in replacement because that works in pretty much any environment. Then the other, th other challenge was with the servo. Now this is a continuous rotating servo, which means it goes, you know, continuously in one direction and then it can go, you know, another, the opposite direction. But setting it, up, setting it up was a bit tricky because I had to figure out the midpoint of it so that I could have it rotate in the direction I want. But apart from that, it was an interesting build, lots to learn and I think it's a fun project. All right, so one of the modifications I would want to do to this brick as it is right now is extend uh, this hold. But this was crazy to prevent the tissue from flying off when there's wind. So I think what I'll do now is extend this to this side so it holds it and then make some teeth here so that once the paper comes, you know, you can easily just pull it off of this and tear it to make it very simple. Now, future plans of this thing is um, this, the, the future of version two of the system is going to be fully uh, cloud enabled. And when I mean cloud enabled, it's going to be smart. Smart in the sense that it will be able to tell us the volume of uh, liquid soap left, the volume of water that is left. It's going to give us a count of how many people have used the system to wash. And we're gonna add some AI and gamification to it. That I'll leave you to think about how that's gonna happen. But then in the next build you see version two of this is gonna have all that. And I can say that we're gonna have some onboard camera on it and something interesting is gonna happen. But yes, I promise that with the bin, hopefully in a couple of weeks time when we virtually get our servo, I'll, I'll do another video of the bin and show you how that works. So there you have it. That was one interesting project I actually had a chance to become a part of. It was very interesting assisting Samuel at some point to be able to figure out a couple of things. Now before I go, I'd like to know what you've personally been working on during this particular period of um, the coronavirus. I'd like to hear it um, in the comment section below. And then don't forget to smash the subscribe button in case you are new here as well as hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so i'm going to leave some more um, details in the description of this video so you're able to reach out to him and see more interesting projects he's been working on thank you very much i'll see you in the next one